Happy New Year, everyone. I've been doing a little bit of updates here and there around the house, one of which has been to my RS. I came up on this JDM STI strut bar and it needed a little bit of refreshing. The aluminum was all oxidized. The carbon was in good shape, but it just needed a little refreshing. I just want to walk you through some of the steps I took to get it to look like it does right now. I started by taping off the carbon fiber and then I used this Scotch-Brite and I started removing all the oxidation off of the aluminum, cleaning it up, and then I also wiped it down with some acetone. I used this self-etching primer that goes on bare metal and what you do is you just dust this on. You don't put a full-on coat on, you just dust it on. Then I also Scotch-Brited it again, wiped it down with some acetone. Then I took this flat or matte black rattle can and then I just started lightly dusting it on until you know two or three coats into it it started finally kind of covering it and then I put another good solid coat on so roughly about four coats the first two coats are barely covering it after I installed the strut bar I thought it was time to put my 2016 STI intercooler on it as well that I made this shroud for a few episodes ago for the bucket. Yeah, quite happy with the turnout. I also updated my shop at buckylastic81.com with this secure model bucket graphic. And I released two secure model Garasi 64 bucket replicas, a version one with Tarmax and a version two with chicanes and Moret headlights. Both of these sold out under a minute. I think it was like 41 seconds and all 20 of these sold out. So that was pretty rad. Um, I'm gonna have to work on another version. Aside from that, I spent the last three days cleaning my garage so that I no longer have to close my garage doors when I'm working on my cars. I'll pop up a picture on what this area once looked like before I started. I added these roof racks above my garage doors just to clean this area up. And what it did was it created a, a larger space for me to be able to work in. I still have a, a brand new RS aluminum hood. I was able to get my Miss Pac-Man machine out, which also has Galaga. Looking forward to playing that more. And then right here, here's some of the boards that I have. I have over a hundred used skateboards dating back to birdhouse days, birdhouse element, all riders, all old boards that I rode that I'm thinking about putting up on my shop at uh, buckylastic81.com. And I also uncovered my shifter cart and I hung some decoration. The bucket is still a work in progress, but that's good news for you guys. You get to watch me do it all and address the issues that I come upon and can translate them to you so that you know what to look for. One thing that I noticed with the bucket is that when I turn right or turn left, it is clunking and binding. So that leads me to believe that it's the center diff. My Pal Peralta reissue board just got released. This also sold out. I also have all my new pro models. And this is actually Dino on my board graphic. I have some of these boards that are going out to friends. This is going out to Justin. Uh, Lucian who helped me do all the wall mounts with skate hoarding and I'm actually setting up a new board right here as you can see I'm about to put all my stickers on so yeah we're gonna we're gonna sticker this puppy up grip it up and then I'm gonna go straight at Mancha's and get some skating in so you guys are welcome to come along if you like I'm like a little kid when it comes to stickers I know where this one goes. This one goes in the same spot as always. Rockstar always goes up on the nose. Here we go.
There you have it. I use mob grip. It's perforated so that the air bubbles escape up through the grip tape. You would think that I've done this before. I think I realized on the way here what the next modification is going to be to the RS. I think it's time to upgrade the stereo. Don't do me like that. Yeah, you're ready to go, huh? What up? Yeah. Mancha! What's up, Bucky? Check out Mancha's setup. He's got a sick setup. Check it out. PMA all day. Sick little backyard ramp. He had a jam here a few months ago. It's actually, if you dig deep enough in my videos, you'll find it. Mach is pretty self-sufficient. He's got about 20 chickens, fruit trees. He collects rainwater from his roof. He drinks it, showers with it. Oh. Welcome to the B-Team ramp. Time to party. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's session. I'd say the board worked well. Make sure you check out buckylastic81.com for the new merch. Hit me up in the comments and have a happy new year.